Zombies? Zombies? Teenagers? Zombies? Teenagers? Glenn Lyons. Fellow Toastmasters, special guests, welcome to the commercial part of the program. This is a lovely room, lovely hall, it still needs to be paid for. Today, the person paying for this room is Zombie Life and Casualty Insurance, saving your life one zombie at a time. Zombie Life and Casualty Insurance, fully licensed and bonded in the state of Jefferson. Hi, I'm Brain Eater Lance, current public affairs officer for Zombie Life and Casualty Insurance, a wholly owned subsidiary of the Lemming Corporation. <laughs> a show of hands, please, for those that believe that zombies exist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I see a few hands, but I see more hands down. Today, I hope to erase that doubt whether zombies exist or not. Everywhere we look, books, television, YouTube, Facebook, People are saying zombies exist. Zombies don't exist. I'm up here today to tell you, zombies do exist and have been with us for thousands and thousands of years. They are called teenagers. <laughs> I hear the discerning noises out there. This is a difficult subject to discuss. Even harder to admit, this could be your family. I'm here today give you a brief overview about why your teenager could be a zombie. One, commun communication or lack thereof. Ask a teenager a question. Verbally, the answer will be, <laughs> Ask that zombie the same question. What's the answer you're going to get? <laughs> Manners. A teenager will eat anything you put in front of them, making disgusting noises while they busily shove that food down their throat. Extremely messy eaters. Zombies will eat any living thing you put in front of them, <laughs> making disgusting noises while they shove that food down their throats. Extremely messy eaters. Social trends. Teenagers are pierced any and everywhere to belong and be different, extremely dangerous in packs. Zombies are pierced everywhere. Arms, legs, torsos. That's how they became zombies. Extremely dangerous in packs. And finally, appearance. Teenagers wear dirty, ill-fitting clothes giving off an aroma you would rather not smell. <laughs> zombies, you guessed it, they wear dirty, ill-fitting clothes giving off an aroma you would rather not smell. Now, whether teenagers and zombies are one and the same, remember, both are extremely dangerous. When you can't tell the difference between a teenager and a zombie by communication techniques, appearance, social trends, and manners, how do you tell the difference? You get training, reality training. How do you get that? Become a parent and survive. <laughs> In the meantime, proceed with caution until you've been trained to tell the difference. If you are not a parent and need help, call Zombie Life and Casualty Insurance for all your zombie teenager needs. Remember, there is no first aid against teenager zombie attacks. There is only prevention. There are no silver bullets for the teenager zombie pandemic. Silver bullets only exist for werewolves, and vampires, and we know those simply do not exist. <laughs> Remember, zombie life and casualty insurance, saving your life one zombie at a time. Call today and we'll send you absolutely free our zombie DNA identification field manual. This field manual will give you a brief overview of the differences between zombies and teenagers, potentially saving your life. Operators are standing by. Call 1-866-ZOMBIES. Write that number down and call 1-866-ZOMBIES. 
If you wait to call, it'll be too late. Call now, 1-866-ZOMBIES. This presentation has been for instructional purposes only. Zombie Life and Casualty Insurance refuses any and all liability and responsibility for any misidentification, unless you are a current client. <laughs> Remember, sanity is a full-time job. I'm now retired, and I return you to 